See, uh, Bebo comes from film royalty. Uh, but um, that, in a way, initially in the early stages of her career, went against her. She had to unlearn whatever she learnt and she had to create her own niche. Uh, because in this industry, everybody is looking for the next new sensation. They're not looking for somebody who looks like or feels like somebody else. Um, Karina Kapoor is one of the few people who you can put on the cover of a fashion magazine and immediately take off that makeup and she will carry off a very real intense, she can pull off a very real intense performance and, and win a Best Actress Award, um, which I don't think there's anybody in the industry who can do that and um, that kind of talent comes very, very, very rarely. Well, uh, like I said, um, probably the fact that she comes from a lineage, uh, she probably thought it will be easier for her. Uh, but uh, everybody who comes from a lineage, you need to work harder to, to, to maintain the reputation, so to speak. So, um, her first couple of films were not that great, but then that's because uh, she probably had a lot of... Um, uh, ideas about what acting should be and she wasn't really acting. Uh, it is probably after a couple of failures that she, you know, looked into herself and and then brought out the true Kareena Kapoor, which is, which is a bundle of talent. Yeah, that's true because uh, that you can achieve after uh, there's a certain amount of uh, a certain level in acting that you've achieved, a certain level of uh, stardom that you've achieved. Uh, like I said, uh, she is one of the few people who uh, look like a supermodel and also act. I mean, as an actress should act. You know, I mean, the looks and the acting don't don't intermingle. Uh, you know, there are, there are two kinds of actors. Uh, one who needs to think and plan and, you know, needs to feel the role and method acting and all the uh, so-called, uh, you know, tricks. There are two kinds of actors. One is uh, the so-called method actor who needs to feel and, you know, study and research the characters and needs to feel what they're doing. Uh, Kareena Kapoor is from another breed which once they understand the role, I mean, uh, they just come in and do it. There's no effort. It, they make it look so effortless that uh, sometimes on set you wonder that, you know, if they've done enough and it's only when you see the film that you realize um, how well she's carried it off. I mean, because she makes it look so effortless on, on set, you think it, it happened too easily and that, you, you know, there should have been more effort. But that's the beauty of her acting. I mean, it's effortless and uh, it just flows and just works. So, how is she as an actress? She is a method actress or she's just an ordinary actress? What is she like? Yeah, she's, like I said, she's a spontaneous actress. So, she, she just, I mean, just comes in and does her stuff very, very effortlessly. Uh, there's no major thought or anything like that. She's, she, whatever she acts is, is from, she's, uh, it, it all comes from inside. Uh, because Kaal okay. Sir is in Sindhaki Day, so that time, why did you come uh, Shahid and Karina? What was the scene that made you cast? Well, they suited the roles that we wanted. Uh, the role that, that Karina played needed to be able to be um, sweet and innocent as well as, uh, you know, hot and sexy and vampish. And I think she was the only one who could have pulled it off. Uh, Shahid needed to be uh, the young boy in love who, who gets, gets used. And uh, he was perfect for that. So uh, Fardeen was perfect for being the, the stylish, grown-up grown, grown up, 
you know scamster who pulls off who's you know pulling the strings of the whole show so everybody is role everybody was perfectly suited for their role Well, in in my film uh, in Fida, the chemistry was meant to be between uh, Karina and Fardeen, because that's that's where the true romance was, and that worked. Uh, Shahid and Karina looked right for whatever they were supposed to do in the film. Um, they carried off the songs very well, and uh, it was a perfect setup. The first half that they, their romance was in the first half, or their supposed romance in the first half, was a perfect setup for the second half. which uh, where fardeen comes in uh, in the movie there were some uh, steamy scenes between fardeen and karina so kabhi aisa hua ki that karina was not comfortable or she had some inhibitions you know doing that you know once she hears a script and she understands the scope of the role then there's no such thing as you know ifs and whats i mean once every all all everything that needed to be discussed was discussed before we started shooting about talking about karina chanel in process agar baat kare to wahan pe kuch dono ki aapke sets pe dono zyada kareeb aaye the and the love started so koi interesting moment ya incident that you and it was remember no their personal lives were kept off the set so there was they were totally professional on the set there was nothing to report as such i mean when they came on the set and work was happening there was there was nothing about their personal life on the set uh, do a bit or do you know uh, act a negative character hmm. you know you know uh, for a for a actress to play a negative character you need to have uh the first thing you need to have is a face that definitely says that you're ne- not negative uh like i said um i mean bebo had that ability to to make a sweet role i mean so convincing that later on when she was negative she didn't need to i mean it wasn't her face that did anything i mean she didn't need to act in any certain way it was just the way she pulled it off was was something else i mean she didn't do it in the typical way you know where you start making faces and look at me i'm negative she just pulled it off in a very 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 cool way you know people spoke about his smile in the movie she had this wicked smile yeah it was a wink and a smile Yeah that that was that was spontaneous in fact uh, she had to do it twice in the film and uh, when we were shooting the first scene it just flowed i mean it wasn't something that was planned it wasn't written and uh, she did it the first time and and i so we just made every time there was a take we just made her do it again and uh, when we had to do the second part of the scene we sort of remembered that and said just do that again because it just it just worked i mean she can She, the, the way she smiled and winked was just just made the character work Ketri ji yeah. I think see Ketri ji uh, was a great start for her in, in terms of her growth in finding herself uh, but I, I mean in retrospect I think that's something that she would have done very easily um, I, I mean there are lots of other roles especially in Omkara and uh, uh, you know uh, Chameli where she's performed brilliantly 
I I loved her in Tashan also. I mean, uh, so I, uh, uh, for, uh, going, coming back to K three G, I think that was a very um, uh, for her it was a great start because uh, the film showcased her very well, uh, glamorized her, uh, which hadn't been done to her before, and uh, it was a great popish start for for her career. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Uh, she pulled off the child woman in that film very well, where uh, obviously uh, there is innocence somewhere deep down inside, but all that has been covered by years of, you know, seeing uh, the dark side of life. Uh, and that's again another great quality of uh, Karina's that. Uh, she can look like a child woman, which is uh, very, very rare, you know, because so you, even though I'm looking hot and sexy outside, I, I, you, when you look into my eyes, you still see, you still see innocence. Uh, in Omkara, she played a character called uh, Dolly. Dolly. And uh, her belongs to, you know, the traditional. Mm. So about her There again, I mean, it goes in that same, the same Chameli mold, but there, I'm sure even Karina will give a lot of credit to the director Vishal, Vishal Bhardwaj, who created the perfect ambience for them to excel. And all, all the actors in the film were brilliant. And uh, I mean, again, uh, the ability, the role was just, I mean, how Vishal tapped into the innate qualities of, of Bebo of being innocent on one level. You know, and uh, you, you know, you look at her, and she looks so beautiful, uh, and you want to trust her. And uh, I think Ajay played a perfect foil uh, for her. In in Omkara again, uh, I think Vishal's character Dolly uh, again uh, tapped into very the basic innate quality of of Karina, where she can look, you know, achingly beautiful. And uh, there's still that sense of innocence around her. And um, I mean, you, when you look at her, you know she's, she's flawless, that she's perfect. Uh, and, um, and it was a perfect foil for, for Ajay's character. Well, I didn't have any problems with that. Yeah, of course, she's not the Hanji, Yasarji, Namasteji, that kind of a person. She'll call a spade a spade. Uh, and if she doesn't like something, she will voice it, which is great because, uh, you know, you don't have to read through layers and stuff like that. What you see is what you get. And uh, uh, as a director, it keeps you on your toes because uh, you know you can't uh, you know pass on any bullshit where she's not going to take it so how is she as a person she's she's a sweetheart as a person i mean uh, i have never had any problems with her and uh, she's great to work with a dream to work with and uh, i hope i get a chance to work with her again See, there again, I mean, uh, I mean, she obviously got a character which she grabbed with both hands and just sunk her teeth into and enjoyed every minute of playing Geet. Uh, and I mean, again, you know, uh, it was because she looked so casually beautiful that she could wear pajamas and a t-shirt and run on a station and still look cute and hot. Uh, that's one thing that Karina Kapoor can pull off. Sir, uh, um, you would like to talk about the image makeover that she has changed, you know. So, how do, how do you like her? I remember it was... Size zero, <laughs> <or> that? <laughs> size. Well, I, I remember seeing her for the first time in Jaisalmer when they were shooting for Tashan and I was, my jaw fell to the ground 
and I still call her her hotness because uh, she's royal. She always was royal. Now she's hot also. So I mean, and it's only Karina Kapoor who can pull that off. Yeah, Bebo is going to be somebody who's going to keep evolving. Uh, I think two years from now, when we do another interview on her, there'll be something new to talk about. And just when you think that she's done it all, she'll come out and surprise you again.